In a curious pairing, Vivian Binns and Hussain Valamanesh come together for an exhibition at Sydney's Kasula Powerhouse. Artsub was there to bring you their conversation. I mean, I'm not sure how you feel about it. I basically said, okay, go ahead and you curate the show and, and it all came together. What yeah, well, I thought, um, you know, Tony came to me and said, oh, I'd like to have this exhibition next year and I'd like to put you and uh, Jose Domenish together. And I said, why? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, really know. But, um, you know, I was trying to work it out. And I thought, well, fine, you know, because I really love that sort of uh, approach of an unexpected uh, meeting juxtaposition, so I was quite in favour. And, you yeah. know, it's also different than a, say, two-person show of our, uh, it's just looking at the whole, I mean, we've both been at it for a while and making work and uh, seeing the sort of history of practice and changes in our practice. I mean, as I said, my earliest work is from 69, and I think you have from some... Yeah, I mean, that's like 40 years of thinking about art and making art. And I think that's interesting how we all change, evolve, and how the materials change, the ideas change. It's very interesting to see what can come out of it. And beside, at this stage, I don't want to have to make too many decisions. <laughs> it's out there, you know, other people, let other people do it. I'll sort of erupt if something happens that I really don't like, but... Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Uh, and I think it's, uh, in a way, maybe it's better that we are working in slightly different ways and, and because if we... Maybe there would have been a different conversation between the work if we were brothers and sisters in, in our work. Mm. And, um, yeah, but I felt that was in, it's always interesting for an artist to look back at their practice. I have a work here which I made in 1969 and never been exhibited in Australia. It's just been sitting in my studio collecting dust. And it's rather nice to see it on the wall and then go back to my dusty studio. <laughs> Use of the, the, the poetics of life and using um, what poetry can do in terms of metaphor and uh, so on, uh, uh, you know, that is so strong in your work. And, um, and then in my work, what I see is a kind of matter-of-factness, you know, an ordinariness, and at times a crudeness or something, the fear of, a certain fear of, of seeming to be too mm. poetic. Um, I think that you start to see how there's not always that in one person's work you'll find both of those things and the emphasis may be in a different place but there's something that you know comes through if you're able to let the practice take. now i've worked against those sort of things a lot in my practice um, but uh, in putting it side by side it highlights for me, some of those qualities that I, are in my work, but I won't necessarily act out of them or let them show. I mean, I'm talking about the poetic quality. Uh, and, and it's really valuable to understand how, you know, you can go through that sort of uh, poetic high finish, or you can go through uh, you know, the, the scungy, grungy, and somehow, you know, you, 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 you find that you can synthesize that, those two journeys in a way that uh, is really... Um, yeah, I think uh, the actual way of making it, you can't help it, just it's part of your being mm. and the way you... Uh, and that's great that we are not all as fussy as me. You know, like it's really boring at every way you saw. And it's great we have our own tone of, um, I don't know, accents, our own tone of our voices are different, and some of us sing differently. And, and that's what's beautiful about the whole world of art, like yeah. be it in writing or music, and, and that uh, there are all these different voices, and 
we all kind of singing in our own way and then coming together. Uh, maybe as a chorus we will be not so good, but then there's only two of us. It sounds all right. <laughs> Gina Fairley, reporting for Arts Hub.